Previously on Camcho. so much in love with food. I actually cook for fun. I'm the face behind the brand, a kitchen far away. Life is better expressed through ingredients. My name is Viviana and I love to experiment with food. I'm a healthy food blogger. But we're just going to leave it to you if you guys play with all the brands that we have. And this year to eat a lot of food, a lot of food, a lot of food. chefs chicken and beer night it is getting here i actually thought we were going to rest or something but sdk says we have to make chicken and beer oh oh hi. Hi. hi i mean i've cooked with beer before so i'm looking forward to creating something um uh, interesting Day one, I'm making honey chicken wings, spicy honey chicken wings with fritol and then stabia. It's a beer night, so I'm making a chicken and beer broth. Um, so for the chicken and beer, I, I will be making carrot soup with the chicken. I'm making a smoky grilled chicken. Beer has a bit of alcohol, and then I felt Drinking the alcohol with a very slow cooked baked chicken, very juicy and tender, would add more pleasant and um, excitement to the drinking of the beer. I don't drink beer, but I cook with beer. going to be marinating my chicken with beer because there are enzymes and stuff in the beer which help tenderize meat and stuff so if I have to do a chicken and beer night I might as well put a beer in the chicken this way your seasoning is able to penetrate deeper and your meat is tasty try this and from the look of things I don't think I have that much time so beer will help my meat get tender quickly I'm thinking maybe some kind of grilled chicken, skewered, something like that. Um, I'm still figuring out the idea as it's going, but I'll start with that. Eventually, I'll figure it out. It's me. Food is easy for me. Probably want to make like a chicken lollipop, yeah, because I'm going to cut the chicken and have, yeah, the beer go in there, marinate that chicken, make it so tender and juicy, put it the spices, because I know my Ghanaian people like the pepper and all of that, yeah, and have some beer to go with that. Yeah, star beer, not any beer, star beer, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to be marinating my meat with beer, star beer, and other seasonings. And it's going to be basically a Ghanaian light soup, but made or marinated. The chicken is going to be marinated with star beer. So it's going to have all the ingredients that a traditional Ghanaian light soup has. Yeah, I've never made anything with beer before, so I'm very excited to see how it turns out. I'm a chicken wings lover, so I love to experiment with different recipes when it comes to chicken wings. So this is going to be a combination of um, some spices, um, barbecue sauce, honey, lemon, like a whole lot of flavors playing around, and then a mix of the star beer to give it some sour taste to the sweet honey taste. So I cannot wait to show you guys how it all turned out. Chicken, um, as I said, I'm a healthy food blogger, so I like to always infuse some vegetables in 
whatever that I'm doing. So I made like, um, it's just similar to regular Ghanaian lye soup, but instead of the garden eggs, I replaced that with carrots and some tomatoes with um, onion and garlic. And it's actually quite good. Never, ever, ever cook chicken without garlic. Never, ever do it. You are going to regret it. Use as much garlic as you want, but always have garlic in however preparation, whether dry, powdered, fresh garlic, grated. However, we are going to bake chicken, always add garlic. So now everything is going on. We are on our stations and we are making our, our meals. And I mean, I'm looking, I'm panning left and right, looking at people at their station, seeing what they're making. And I mean, everybody's amazing at what they're doing. I'm looking at Chef Kicks. He's, he has his blowtorch, <laughs> blasting fire all, all, all around. And I mean, I'm a way to uh, kitchen fire. Everybody's doing great stuff and I'm loving it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm loving, I'm moving around, checking out people's things. Yeah, and they're doing quite great stuff, you know, I love it. Before I came to the house, I honestly thought I would be intimidated because I feel like I'm not um, a professionally trained chef. I am a home cook. But then getting to see their processes, getting to see everything live, it was really, really inspiring. It was really, really great for me to see how they do their things, to learn from them and to experience things. And I also realized that I'm actually a good cook. Yes, so I think I discovered something about myself. <laughs> I've been to other stations and I'm a little new to watching people cook because I do a lot of stuff on my own. So I see um, Jean-Claude doing something particularly interesting with his ties. I'm thinking he's probably going to lollipop. That should be fun. I don't know if he's going to fry or grill. I'm staying tuned to that. I see one, one other person working on wings. I was thinking about wings to start, but I figured maybe more, more people will make wings and I don't want there to be a lot of winged recipes, so I'll switch that out. Um, I've seen someone else potentially trying to fry chicken. I am new to everybody's cooking method, so I'll just allow them to have their fun, and then maybe as we talk later on, I'll get a little more feedback from how they do their stuff. It's interesting seeing um, food content creators you only admire on, on social media, you see them personally cooking. You get to learn from each other because we all don't cook the same though someone who might be cooking let's say bangkun but we all have a different way of cooking it so seeing them cook physically i i tend to learn a bit of everything they do from each of them yeah i'm just waiting for them to you know finish i'm just here uh, all i have to do is wait nothing yeah, i'm not cooking I'm not helping them with the fire. I'm not helping them with anything. Even after, enjoy. yes, even after eating, I'm not washing anything. The only thing I need to wash is my mouth and have a good sleep. I just hope they give me the nicest chicken out here, yeah, with the beer. Right, so making chicken and beer, um, I mean, you're supposed to use beer, obviously, to make that. And then, like, on, on my station, I had um, star beer to, 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 to use and marinate in the chicken. And, I mean, there are a lot of beers on the market, and then I used quite a number of them, but then using star beer in making uh, my chicken, I realized that there were different flavors in there that activated the, the, the flavors and the taste in the chicken. And, yeah, it was, it was good, it was good. Um, I don't know if I have enough time to marinate a full chicken, so I'm thinking I'll debone the chicken, that reduces my marination time, make a marinade which is very intense in terms of flavor, and then pseudo vacuum seal so that it marinates quickly, and then I'll kind of make a glaze out of the beer, the marinade, and the oil from Frito so that I can further add a little extra flavor whilst I'm grilling the chicken. If I can get a little lucky, pour some of the beer into the fire to get that smoke that gives you that pinkish meat. So that's the general idea, but whilst I'm executing, I'm sure I'll figure out a few things around it and make it a perfect dish. I may also consider adding 
a side or two, maybe some toastiness. I see some plantains and some vegetables with some maybe a salsa of some sort. But like I said, once I'm cooking, it's, it just keeps rolling. So I have a general process and then I'm just going to work around it. You know, we all have grilled chicken and stuff, but because I'm baking, I still want the smoky taste in it. So I decided to, instead of putting it on a grill, I rather slow bake, get a charcoal with the help of fried tall and then a bit of fire. So I can get the smoked around the chicken. So when you are chewing, though it's, it's baked, you might think it's actually smoked. I was right, JC did make a chicken lollipop, which was executed very differently from what I know. Normally chicken lollipops are deep fried or coated in something and deep fried, but he, I think he smoked and grilled his. That was an interesting touch. I'm yet to taste his. That's one thing I'm looking forward to. I saw two people made two variations of kind of a soup, both having beer in the soup. I'm very interested to try and figure out the umami elements that are left behind after all the alcohol evaporates from the soup. So I think um, there were two chickens that looked fried. I think one was wings, one was drumsticks. Hmm. Look who arrived just in time for a party and some chill. Our last comeback. You know, this is one of the main reasons why I came. I missed a lot, but I had to be here. My flights got delayed and that was, it wasn't my fault, but I'm still here anyways. All right guys, my name is Wesley Kese and I'm CEO of Kese Cooks. We're not working at the moment, but yeah, I need us to say that. And I love food. I love everything food. What else? Um, Hold on. I actually mean hold on. All right, so I started cooking when I was five years old. My first meal was jollof rice. It was at this moment that he knew. Yeah. I know you're surprised, but yeah, I cooked jollof rice when I was five years. And so I knew I was definitely going to be a food lover. And so I started my food business in 2018. And here we are today. Unfortunately, when I came, the party had already started. But you know the party can't end without me, that a cash. Hold up. I totally forgot to update you on the full-blown party happening while the chefs are busy working. Let some star beer flow. So we are all done now and man, I should tell you, like you, you see the table and you see the set, the, the presentation of everybody's food, like you see everybody's so good at what they do, like I wasn't expecting it to be that great, but see everybody did great, like even tasting the food and like, I mean, I, I, I think I'm good, but some people are great here yeah, and I, I love, I love every single bit of it. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking probably I want to do some collaboration with some of these guys and yeah, come up with some great stuff, some good recipes, Ghanaian fusion. Yeah, looking forward to it. So we are done with tonight's work and I'm exhausted, like I'm just, I'm just tired. It's been a long day, I had to do a lot of things before I got here. But 
is food and I had to make food which was fun. I enjoyed making the chicken. I ended up making a chicken, beer marinated chicken skewers. I used some of the yellow habaneros, some of the, the beer to make a marinade. Like I said, I basted it with some of the marinade, extra beer and oil to get it popping, if I should say. And I realized it was just too much meat. So I did make tostones. Um, I finished it with a fresh chunky salsa, which I torched on top to bring both meals together because we gr I grew the chicken and I had to have a smoky element to my side. So I decided to torch the top of my vegetables to have that extra smoky element inside my dish. Okay, so um, there was this one recipe I've actually not come across before. It was made by a kitchen far away. She did um, beer chicken broth. It was, it was very tasty. Okay, and also I tested Ama Bojoa's recipe. Um, though she had a little problem with the chicken, it came out very great. Um, the recipe she made wasn't what she really intended to do, but then the result was fantastic. I'm glad we started this evening. It's a, it's a good step. It's a, I'm sure by tomorrow when everybody's rested, we can bring out some of our bigger powers in our pockets. So. This is a day well spent. Good night, campus. Great job done. We partied, we partied, we partied, and finally we've come to the end of today. Tomorrow, indeed, is another story. So, stick and stay. I'm excited about tomorrow, but now I need to sleep, so bye, guys. I eat a lot. I'm not full yet. Next on Camp Cho. Hi guys, it's your boy Incredible Ziggy Ghana's Dance Sensation and I'm inside Influencer Africa's Camp Cho. Hey, I hope you're not coming to dance. My name is Ko Saki uh, with the Republic Securities, a licensed dealing member of the Ghana Stock Exchange. In the next couple of minutes, I would want to have a chat with you so that we try to break down what investing generally is.